I mean, central and northern New England really going to get walloped again. And this time of year, when you get that heavy, wet snow, it just kind of clings to the trees. The temperatures are marginal. And if you add some wind, it can cause problems. And that's what we are expecting. I mean, you can see near North Conway, up into western Maine, the mountains here, we could be talking about over a foot of snow. Again, lots of spots picking up 6 to 12 inches of snow. That's central and northern New England, where we do have winter storm watches out. You can see they do extend into the Berkshires locally. And the key to accumulating snow for our area more focused here in southern New England is going to be with elevation and that is going to be the issue. It looks like a plowable snow here with elevation through the Worcester Hills and the Berkshires and that snow too is going to be heavy and wet and when you factor in the wind we could be dealing with a few power issues locally as well. So here's a map of where the highest snow totals are going to be focused and you can see really to the north and west around the Boston area. We might get a couple of flakes to mix in on the back end of this on Thursday, but as you go out toward 495, there could be a coating to perhaps an inch of snow around Worcester, out along the Pike and Metro West, uh, heading up toward the Merrimack Valley. And then as you get north and west of 495, we may see one to three inches of snow near that Route 2 corridor accumulate, but really it's north of there with elevation above about a thousand feet. You get into spots like Gardner and Ashburnham and Ashby, back toward Winchenden and Royalston, and this is where we have the greatest potential of seeing more than three inches of snow outside of the snow. We're tracking rain and it is going to be heavy again and it looks like another one to three inch rain event for us coming Wednesday into Thursday and the winds too are going to be gusting to 50 miles per hour, especially near the coast. So it's widespread rainfall around two inches. Some spots may see a little bit more, but keep in mind we just had one of these a few days ago, so ground is pretty saturated. You can see the active weather here happening as you go back toward parts of Tennessee right now, stretching up into Kentucky. This is where we have an active tornado watch, another one heading into West Virginia. Virginia as well, and this is all associated with the area of low pressure that's going to be developing into our nor'easter, and that gets going during the day tomorrow. So things relatively quiet today. We're going to see the rain develop tomorrow, and then there's colder air to the north, and that is going to allow us to get in on some of that snow across northern New England. It's as the storm goes by, as we get into Thursday, that some of that cold air gets drawn farther south. So we're talking about temperatures right now that are near 50 degrees. It's not bad out there at all, but to the north there is just enough colder air that may get pushed on down as the storm starts developing and pulling away that we may change over to some snow. So for the rest of the afternoon, we'll keep in the 40s to near 50 degrees. A lot of clouds. There are a few showers sneaking by to our south this evening, so I would have an umbrella handy for those few showers. You can see them working on through. The best chance is going to be near and south of the pike into the early evening. The farther north that you are, the drier it is. And then it's fairly quiet through the rest of the overnight. Temperatures down in the 30s tonight. Impact weather tomorrow as our nor'easter gets started. You can see rain is developing over the course of the day and the temperatures drop a couple of degrees here. So the rain is going to fill in tomorrow midday. You can see a little pink showing up north of the pike. Sleet may mix in and there's that snow across southern New Hampshire. It continues through the afternoon and it's really overnight Wednesday night that this really gets going. You can see still a little bit of mixing into the overnight hours and then Thursday morning here comes that colder air wrapping in and we may see a brief change to snow with a few flakes even around the Boston area, but again, not expecting accumulation there. The winds are really ramping up later tomorrow, tomorrow night and Thursday morning. That wind coming in off the ocean gusting to 50 miles per hour. Well, that could create a bit of a surge here with our storm and we could have some minor coastal flooding during that Thursday morning high tide just before 8 a.m. This storm is going to be slow to get out of here, so it remains unsettled with a lot of clouds and a few showers Friday into Saturday. And then finally, the weather improves and we are setting up for nice weather. It appears to view that solar eclipse coming up on Monday.